Hello world of YouTube. Welcome back to my randomizer run around in Pokemon Stadium 1 for Modified Mondays on a Tuesday. When we last left off, we were getting to Erica's gym and getting demolished by said gym. So now we're back at it. Abra, Kitmon Lee is what I got in the first slot, and Gold Duck. I don't know what the fuck else to bust out. Hitmon Lee is going to be great against this person. Except for this Pokemon. But they won't be not helpful. So let's do a counter. Oh, Reflect, fuck you! Yeah, of course you are, you fucking asshole. It's not going to do shit. I should have done a high jump kick up the, at the fucking gate, dude. Because I'm going to be faster, aren't I? Yes, I am. God damn it. That's not very effective anyway. And now I'm asleep. It's utter shit, man. Let's change to Abra. Let's just get Abra out the fucking gate. I don't want Abra. Abra's not... Really a great Pokemon. They're like Magikarp. They're a slow burn boy. There it goes. A savage hit. How will this swap affect the outcome? Uh um... Fucking Psychic, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna use. What's that? Hit the weak spot. Nice. Wow. Did not expect that to fucking work. Oh my god. I just saw that health flying down and was like, I just got insanely fucking lucky. Thank God, Abra. <laughs> think I get. Think I'm fucking glad I fucking got Abra. Is that gonna do the same thing again? Jesus Christ, Abra! I'm sorry, I ever doubted you. <laughs> Fucking a, man. Holy shit! Well, I'm gonna seismic toss. Cause that sounds like the move. Or seismic toss. As uh, this schmuck says. There's a Who you got last? Puffet. Oh, Beautiful. I am going to... to Psychic the again. It's been working well. What's Shockingly. That's doing so much fucking damage. Don't die. Oh. I'm actually bummed you're kind of dead. You did damn good work. I should have switched, honestly, but I was just so invested in my guy doing so well. I wanted to sweep with the sweepy guy. Uh, we'll surf, I guess. Yeah. Let's surf it out. And that should be enough to kill. Boom. Dead. Fainted, sorry. Here's a weird question for you guys. Because this has nothing to do with Pokemon. This more has to do for game collectors out there. What's a game you are happy to own multiple copies of? And I don't mean multiple copies for different platforms. Because I also have stuff like that. I've got Tony Hawk 3 on the Xbox. And now I recently got it on the PS2. Um, I also own Resi 4 on the GameCube and the Switch. You know, I own Ocarina of Time on the GameCube and the N64. But, like, same game, same console. What's, like, your... What's a game you seek out for that purpose? You know? Also, I'm going to bust out Dragonite, Magneton. Actually, I'm going to reset Magneton, Dragonite, and... Uh, Hitmonlee. I'm trying not to pick Abra. I gotta get in my head. I'm in my head about picking Abra now. Uh, 
Um, I have an answer for the question. That's why I asked. Uh, my answer is actually a game that I've recently added another another in my collection to. My very small collection of only two. But uh, is a game that I do want to own multiple copies of. Uh, but there's a couple games that I guess fall into that category for me. Because I do have a couple games on like multiple copies of it. I have two copies of Tomb Raider 1. I now have two copies of Mischief Makers, which is my answer. I also own two copies of Max Payne 2. Uh, or Max Payne 1. Two copies of Max Payne 1. That's what I meant to say. I think there's something else. I have two. Co I used to have two copies of Crazy Taxi for the Dreamcast. I think I sold one of my copies of that. But Mischief Makers is a game I want to own as many copies of as possible. Because I think it's just a it's just a wild game. And I'd love to have multiple copies of it. It's not even my favorite game on the N64. I also own two copies of Star Fox 64, but one of them is the Japanese copy. And that's a game I am happy to own multiple copies of. Because uh, that is another game. That's like one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and I saw the Japan a copy of the Japanese version of it. And uh, I was like, I needed to have it. You know what I mean? But like Mischief Makers... I can own multiple copies of that. I wouldn't mind that, honestly. I think it's a great game. My buddy Evan, you guys know Evan. Wednesday boy Evan. Um, he, oh shit. <laughs> In spite of the fact that it didn't do jack shit. And it's mostly for other people's purposes. Because, like, I just want to let people play, give people the opportunity to play what I would argue is one of the most interesting games on the N64. Fuck yeah. Stay paralyzed, dude. Uh, I'm going to thunder once again. I'm trying to think of other games I have multiple copies of. Or used to have multiple copies of. That are on the same console. Because I think all of what I named, I need to change Pokemon. Because I don't want to lose Magneton just yet. Uh, let's bust out Dragonite. I think I named them all. Yeah, I am probably going to be getting rid of the copies of Max Payne and Tomb Raider. Because I don't need two copies of those games. I love both of those games. Two great experiences. Um, but like, I don't need two copies of both of those games. Max Payne, probably arguably one of the best games on the PS2. Um, I really love Max Payne 1. That game is like, I know I've, I've, like I talked about this on Cash Boys a little bit. I never really got into GTA. I used, I played like the first three games. Or the first, like, the London GTA 1 and GTA 2 on the PS1. And those were fine. But, like, I never really... I was never, like, super into those games. They're fun. They're fun to, like, dick around in. As are, at least, the, the exposure to the 3D games I've had via 3. Which I do want to play more of. And online. Because I played that a decent amount. Uh... With Shake and uh, Kalen and other friends intermittently. Ooh, I did not think about you having an ice move. Fuck! That's terrible. Oh my god. Well, hey, I can't use you. God damn it. Am I gonna lose my guys? At least I'm not losing Nidoran Mail. Because Nidoran Mail has fucking blizzard and that's gonna come in massive handy um later on in the gym if i can just survive these dudes this dude this is the last dude right damn it no he still got two dudes fuck i may lose this fight i got lost in the sauce talking about game collecting because I've been finding, like, recently, I've been having this wildly lucky string of finding, like, 
must-owns, like on-site games that I never see in the wild that I've wanted to own for fucking years. Um, for one reason or another. You know, I know I talk a lot about my vinyl and my album collections, but I do collect games pretty avidly. I have a decent game collection. Um, and I found like a couple Xbox games and GameCube games that I've been looking for. Am I gonna die to this? Uh, yeah. So let's switch to Magneton and lose him instead. This sucks. I'm definitely gonna lose Magneton right now. But I got a uh, great deals on some of them. Hell, I even got a Game Boy Advance game recently that I had in the collection that was a must-have. Yeah, I've, I've been like getting odd finds, and I'm here for it. It's put a bit of a hold on my record collecting, which is fine, because I'm working on a video, like, redoing my whole collection anyway, and that's going to take a lot of fucking time with what I want to do with it. Oh! I'm hoping this kills, because it did a lot of fucking damage. Yes! So I've got to survive the last two battles with my last three Pokemon. Golduck, Nidoran Male, and Hitmonlee. I did not want to bust out Nidoran Male until Erika. But I will do it if I've got to for the challenge. God damn it. Cool gal, let's fight. You and your hodgepodge of Pokemon. Hey, Hitmonlee actually might do decently here. We're actually going to open with Hitmonlee. And then have Golduck and Nidoran Male in the background. So let's reselect that. I've also got my eyes on some random ass comics right now. I don't know why I'm using this week to talk about my collecting exploits. But hey, as you've ever wanted to know, I do... I know I, I know I play a lot of games and most of them are like the original games or like the the physical copies but I am a big believer in, in having a good a good game library and just diving into it you know that's why I make I make an excuse to do so I know I've been in like a string of like repeating games and stuff but and I've like bowed out on streaming for a little while because I've been just super consumed with getting ahead on certain stuff and I'm I got a lot on my plate right now but when I do come back we'll be tearing through more of my backlog like you wouldn't believe I actually would like to come back I was planning on coming back early September but that definitely is not gonna fucking happen um uh, I don't know if this is gonna do anything really but I'm gonna try do a high jump kick. Am I faster? Yes, I am. Him on these stupid fast. It's not very effective. Fuck. I might change if I survive this. Because you have Chansey. Yeah, I need you to survive. So we're busting out Gold Duck. This actually is not a bad matchup for this trainer. Like, I've got some water. I've got a fighting for the two beefy normal types. And, oh yeah, I can't lose anybody. And you just hit me with Thunderbolt. I'm so dumb. If I lose anybody, I've got to re-enter. I've got to try again. Because I can't actually fight uh, Erica with, no, with just two Pokemon. So this is kind of like an all or nothing fight right now. Big yikes. I didn't even think about that. Oh God. Did I just lose? I think I just lost. Yep, I lost. Cool. Well, we have to play out the rest of this fight. But I'm hoping at least Nidoran survives. And I'm hoping when I re-roll... I re-roll some fire Pokemon. Literally, fire Pokemon, please. Magmar, Charmander, Charmeleon, uh, Arcanine. All options, still. I think the only other fire options I have. I'm scanning my brain, my my Rolodex, 
of Pokemon. What now? And I think those are the only fire types in Gen 1. Charizard, because I already lost Charizard. I already lost... And then there's Pokemon that I'm sure have fire moves. Like, coughing had fucking fire flamethrower or fire blast. Or wheezing did. One of those two did. And I was geeked on using them for this uh, gym. F got fucked on that. Kind of. But, uh... Is that gonna be bad for me? Yes, it is. So I have to sack... I have to sack Hitmonlee right now. Uh... This sucks. Bye, Hitmonlee. Hopefully this does a lot of damage. It did not. Kill, anyway. Yeah, bye, Hitmonlee. Ice Beam is gonna kill. Nidoran Mail. That's all I have left. <laughs> What a weird season of Pokemon this is. Huh. I've also got to retool the um, list. So I'll take a quick fiver in the editing bay. I hope I'm faster. Uh, is that going to be... Yeah. So I have to do Blizzard and it has to hit. And I have to go first. I do go first. Thank fuck. Please hit. Fuck yeah. Nidoran survived. I now have to re-roll my entire team, which hasn't happened in the playthrough yet. I thought this would have happened many more times. We are now in episode, what, 10 of season four, of season two? And this is the first time I'm having to do this. Insane. Uh, I have to somehow quit and restart so my dumbass did already delete some of the pokemon out of here but i didn't delete hitmon lee i deleted hitmon chan so i had to add him back in but i got it set up let's go ahead and randomize we rolled hitmon chan who i think has fire punch so that'll come in clutch we got aerodactyl hitmon chan eevee nine tails and chansey which isn't really great but, like, Ninetales is cool. This game really said, you're an Erika's gym. Let's give you ice moves and make you appreciate the ice type more. Because, Jesus Christ, everybody but Aerodactyl and Eevee have an ice move. And, obviously, Ninetales. But, like, he's got ice punch. He doesn't have fire punch. I was mistaken. Thunder and ice, though. Thunderbolt and Blizzard. Ice Beam and Thunder. And then... They don't. So half my team have ice moves, which isn't too bad. And on this match, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lead with Hitmonchan, uh, Aerodactyl. I may bust out Eevee. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the first opponent. <coughs> I'm kind of at a loss here. A decisive victory is expected. Interesting uh, team layout, though. I'm not gonna lie. This is some, like, shit. I've also been doing in my free time, honestly. Because I've been playing through Pokemon Stadium 2. I think I mentioned that. On the, uh, on the playthrough already. But I'm playing the, um... Gym Leader Tower there, and I'm over halfway down with that. So that's pretty cool. I've been testing out random Pokemon in that, too. Like, I used Girafferig. I don't think I've ever used Girafferig. Ever in Pokemon. I tried it out! And it worked really well in the situations I threw it in. And I think Hitmonchan is actually a really solid role. Like, the more that I have Hitmonchan, I'm like, you know what, honestly, I'm so excited I have you. <laughs> also, to address something that I haven't really addressed yet. I know in the original first season, I had Pokemon left over. Completely forgot about that until, like four episodes in and I was like well I can't really go back so fuck it we're rolling with what we got now it fell asleep what shit is that uh fuck it let's keep trying big wheels keep on turning rolling rolling on a river god damn it why are you asleep don't get slashed Ooh, okay, good. That's not bad. I'm gonna keep trying to ice punch. It woke up. 
Now you gotta tank one more slash. Whoa! Fuck. I think an ice punch will kill you. But then I have to switch. Yeah, nice. There's a distinct difference in the number of remaining Pokemon. Who you got left? Oh, Who you got left? Eevee? The remaining Pokemon well, shit. Three to one. The battle has become I don't want to lose you. So I'm going to bust out my Eevee. Eevee versus Eevee. Oh, Who's going to fucking come Pokemon. out on top? Oh, Eevee. You got Eevee and Yvette. Oh, Eevee took a pretty heavy hit. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? Let's do, let's do a body slam. Double team. Shit. It's like, I don't know how to ta tackle myself. What will it do? Get body slam. I did 1% more damage. Or one hit point more damage. Fuck you. Also, I have different moves. What the hell? What the hell? Ooh. Get body slammed. That's kind of cool that they have different moves. I think I could take another quick attack from you. So I'm going to body slam and give it my all. Oh, we both have sand attack. My accuracy fell and your evasive misses up. Will this factor into me missing you? Didn't happen, buddy. Get fucked, you vet. Ba boom. Ba ba boom, baby. Bam, bam, bam. I love the like stock gun sound effects in this. There's a stock sound effect in Pokemon Stadium 2. I'm gonna call out all the fucking time when I play that. But there's a sound effect in that that I really fucking love. It's an old cartoon sound effect. I think it's really good. So, this group is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to lead with Hitmonchan, a uh, little Nidoran male, because I don't mind sacking you if, if push comes to shove. And then, fuck it. Uh, Aerodactyl? Is that a good move? Maybe. I mean, it's kind of a it's kind of a last resort pick anyway. Because Hitmonchan is gonna carry this fucking battle like it did last battle. Because I've got Thunder Punch. <laughs> oh man, Hitmonchan, gotta love you, man. I love you, Hitmonchan. You little goofball. Ooh, and you're paralyzed. Damn, that sucks for you. And you're fully paralyzed. Oh my god. Game was like, let's move this season along, dude. You're taking too long to beat tr gyms. Let's give you some decent rolls. Let's get you some actual time to, to expedite this process. <coughs> now, I'm going to change. Because... Uh, Hitmonchan's gonna be weak against this move, and I do not want to lose Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan is a dope Pokemon for me. So I'm gonna switch to Nidoran, because at least it has Thunderbolt, and is hopefully faster than Pidgeot. Oh, yeah, see, I could take that. I, I probably could have tanked it with uh, Hitmonchan as well, but I just didn't want to risk it for the Biscuit Man. We got to play a little conservatively. Also, if you have any weird, hear any weird mouth sounds this week, uh, I got a little like, like, you know when you get like a little sore on your like, lip, you know, like keep fucking with it. That's what, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, it's Dratini. It has to make up for lost ground. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Uh, Blizzard. I can't.
keep like hitting it with my tongue and it's like popping my uh, my lips all right he was like yeah fuck you man <laughs> we're talking about your weird fucking shit you got going on here's a pokemon this is a fight between two different types Let's do a little of Pokemon. ice punch action. Oh, Boom. Whoa, that's, that's why that's why I led with him, because he's got ice ice punch. This dude is really this this role really is trying to teach me like, hey. Do it like this, stupid. Think cold. Probably put a cold compress. On the competition. Hyper Beam. Damn. Ah, oh, I'm fully fucking paralyzed. This isn't good. This is not good at all. He's got a recharge. That's good. And I didn't fully paralyze. That was my my fear. I was gonna fully paralyze again. I'm trying to make a conscious effort not to fuck with it. But sometimes you just get fidgety, you know? Not like aggressively, so. But just a little poke and prod there. Don't die! Fuck! Whatever. Aerodactyl it is. Ah. Uh, if Aerodactyl dies, I'm just gonna reroll and call it an episode. But I'm gonna be upset. Hit my chain was supposed to go to the top, man. Uh, let's just do takedown. Fuck it. Because I don't know what I have that'll actually do damage to it, so. Takedown! And that didn't really do much damage either. Fuck. Is Waterfall gonna do, like, neutral damage or gonna be super effective? Super effective? Damn. That fucking sucks, dude. Well, it looks like we're spending two weeks, uh, three weeks, in Erica's gym. This sucks, but hey, I got too cocky, and the game said, go fuck yourself. If, if Aerodactyl somehow wins, somehow survives this, and I make it to the end, I'm gonna be floored. Cause there's no fucking shot. No fucking shot. Yeah, Aerodactyl's dead, dude. Well, I gotta reroll, and then we'll call it a week. This really sucks. But it is what it is. All right, got the randomizer queued up. Let's go ahead and randomize. Hey, okay. We're adding Alakazam, Rapidash, and Pidgey. Uh, two of those, pretty great choices, honestly. So we'll add those to the party next week. And we'll try our hand at Erica's Gym again. What are you thinking of this season, guys? How are you liking how it's unfolding? Are you liking the drama? Are you liking the grind? Are you upset at some of the losses we face so far? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did like it, give it a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. I drop two to four vids a week, depending on what I've got going on. Thank you again so much for watching. I've been Power Rack. You guys look at this as a situation, and I'll see you another day.